Ever wonder what the first real pictures of space looked like? Then you've come to the right place. In this video, you will be presented with the first real pictures from space. After you have seen this video, you will definitely know more about the topic. If you like our videos, please support us with a thumbs up, subscribe to Simply Space, and look forward to the videos that will be waiting for you in the future. Let's begin our journey through the vastness of the universe. A survivor after a supernova. A supernova is a very powerful explosion. There is no stronger explosion in space. The supernova has a very strong force. Because of this, it can be seen clearly even at a very long distance and even in daylight. In the year 1054, a supernova could be seen almost a whole month during the daytime and almost two whole years during the night. In most cases, a supernova occurs when a star dies. One special kind of supernova is the supernova with a stripped-off envelope. This occurs when most of the hydrogen has been removed before the explosion. This effect occurs mainly when the stars are present in pairs or even triplets. This results from the fact that one star can eat up its partner's hydrogen. Without the outer hull, however, the star becomes unstable. This causes a supernova, which can be observed from Earth. The light of the explosion has decreased only a decade later. After this happened, the Hubble Space Telescope was able to take a picture. The image showed the survivor of the supernova. It is the partner star that made the star explode in the first place. The first image of a black hole. A black hole is a phenomenon in the sky. The objects have already reached a fixed mythological status. They have a great deal of gravity and mass. This means that nothing can escape from this object, not even light. Because of this, it's also impossible to photograph a black hole. This is because nothing can escape from it. In further consequence, it can only be said that not the first picture of a black hole was taken, but only the silhouette of a black hole. It was necessary to have several telescopes working simultaneously. These numerous telescopes were synchronized so that they could take the single image together. The most distant telescopes were located at the South Pole and in Spain. A total of eight telescopes were used, which had a diameter almost as large as the Earth. The image shows the silhouette of a black hole located in a galaxy 53 million light years away. The first picture of an unborn exomoon. Exoplanets are hard to find. Because of that, exomoons are even harder to find. It's possible that an image is taken from a ring of debris around a planet. The rings around Saturn are formed by comets and are icy. An exomoon, or exoplanet on the other hand, produces a circumplanetary disk itself. The picture shows the first disk imaged around an exoplanet. This is because in our solar system, there are no circumplanetary disks. After some time, the disk will emerge into one or more moons and will accompany the planet. The first image of an exoplanet. Exoplanets are relatively small and also dark. This means that they are difficult to see even when the telescope is very powerful. For this reason, the so-called VLT array was developed. It is a telescope consisting of four main telescopes with a diameter of 8.2 meters. Four auxiliary telescopes are also involved with a diameter of 1.8 meters. These telescopes can work either independently or together. In addition, these mirrors can perceive light 4 billion times finer than the naked human eye. If the telescopes work together, astronomers can see much more detail. This technology made it possible to take the first picture of an exoplanet. It is an exoplanet orbiting a brown dwarf 230 light years from our solar system. The exoplanet is five times the size of Jupiter. It was also the first exoplanet large enough to be photographed. 
Before that, more than 4,000 other exoplanets had already been discovered. The first image of a comet as it hits a planet. Shoemaker-Levy 9 is a comet that was discovered in 1993. The comet was something very special. It was the first comet that did not revolve around the Sun. It orbited the planet Jupiter. After about a year, the comet collided with the planet. Between July 16th and July 22nd, 1994, the comet broke up and the fragments fell onto Jupiter. The impact site became visible shortly after, even though the comet hit on the side that turns away from the Earth. The comet left dark spots on the surface of Jupiter. These could be seen for at least a month. After that, they were consumed by the storms of Jupiter. The first image of an interstellar visitor to the solar system. A telescope was able to take an image in Hawaii in October 2017. In the beginning, the whole thing was classified as a comet. But the properties of a comet could not be found, so the object was then classified as an asteroid. However, this did not make sense either. This resulted from the fact that the object picked up an acceleration that no asteroid could pick up. In addition, the object became brighter when it rotated by a factor of 10. These properties came from an object that was different from the other objects in the solar system. After some observations, it became clear that it was an object which did not originate from this solar system. In fact, it was the first object that was sighted that did not come from this solar system. As the object passed the Earth, it moved at a speed of 315,000 kilometers per hour. This means that the telescope that took the picture had to follow the movement. The image shows a small white dot that is surrounded by stars, but the stars are smeared by the motion of the telescope. The first image of lightning on other planets. The picture shows a grainy window of white and black. The curved horizon of Jupiter can be seen on it. In addition, the bright flashes of light can also be seen in this image. The so-called Voyager 1 could find the ring system of Jupiter, two Jupiter moons, and the first active volcanoes outside the Earth. Voyager 1 is the most distant object, and it visited Saturn. The object is currently located about 21.9 billion kilometers from the Sun. The first picture of the Moon's surface. After several failed attempts, the Soviet Union was finally able to send an unmanned spacecraft to the Moon. The spaceship landed on the Moon in 1966. It was equipped with tower cameras and airbags. It was the first image taken on a surface from a neighboring celestial body. The spacecraft had only a low power supply and died as a result after three days. However, during this time, there was enough time to take and transmit a photo. The first picture came from England. This was published before the Soviet Union could even get the information. The first picture of the Sun. Details about the Sun remained hidden for a long time. This was due to the fact that they were very difficult to detect, as looking at the Sun had already caused great stress for humans. For example, sunspots could only be viewed with the naked eye with pain. The first picture of the Sun was taken in 1845. This progress made it possible for mankind to record the changes and cycles of the Sun. Until 1858, the sun was recorded daily. In 1860, even an eclipse was photographed. The first picture from space. In October 1946, a rocket was launched in New Mexico. This rocket was equipped with a camera and automatically took a picture after 1.5 seconds. It was not until 15 years later that the first man visited space. With this rocket, it was possible to take pictures five times as high as before. The photos showed a view that could not yet be seen by any person in advance. The Earth could be seen from outside. In the following years, numerous similar rocket launches were completed. More than 1,000 pictures from space were published. 
In summary, it can be concluded that there are many first real images of space. A lot has already been found, and some other objects will be found as well. In the near future, many more images of space will surely be created. What's your opinion on the subject? Feel free to share your opinion in the comments and give others food for thought.